guys? No out back. No out back, no out back, no out back. No, nobody in this house is really feeling good right now. It's just allergies. You know, it's shifting seasons, bro. It's that time of year. Even, even the dogs are sneezing this morning. <laughs> what, dude? What is it, man? You really? <coughs> you gotta go out back that freaking bad, huh? Let's do it. Let's do it. What's out there? Go scan the property. One time I let them out there and there was a freaking cat in the backyard. Ever since then, Toby's like, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna run to the junkyard. It's the last thing that I feel like doing. If I'm being honest, I just wanna go lay in bed all day and watch movies on Netflix. But, <sighs> that my friend is not what pays the bills. <laughs> Dude, why, they always find something out there to chew on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Yep, you're a cutie. Yeah, you're a cutie. Yep. You ready to go back inside? We're taking off, dude. You guys gotta go back inside. <laughs> This is my toolkit. <laughs> this is my toolkit for the day. We don't need much. Junkyard had zero S10s. None. No S10 trucks, no S10 blazers. They only they only had a 95. Some real interesting characters around here, man. not meant to be to go to the junkyard today they checked the system and their junkyard that is like a thousand miles away has an 85 s10 blazer but we're not going that far today <coughs> so we're going to get food food it is this is chicken rice soup i've only had this one time i ordered it off of doordash and it was pretty damn good. Last time I had this, I had allergies like I do right now. So, it should help clear it up. <laughs> Got a little chips you put in there. Are those Fritos? <laughs> it looks like Fritos. That's funny. And an egg roll. Well, back at the house. Junkyard was a bust. Uh, the chicken soup made me feel a little bit better. A very small, itty bitty, tiny bit better, but now I'm just even more tired. Uh, got home, and I think my head gasket came in. Um, and I say I think my head gasket came in because uh, look at this box, bro. Like, is this really how they sent the damn head gasket out? This is wild, man. I'm telling you right now, if this is my head gasket, it had to have been a car guy that that packaged this up it had to have been he's like "Ooh, i remember that one time i ordered a head gasket off of amazon and it came in looking like a freaking taco so <laughs> i don't know let's see if this is a head gasket just so you guys know it is still the weekend today's sunday for me that's the reason why the head is still sitting here not dropping this off until tomorrow morning yeah bro it's my damn head gasket <laughs> That's wild, bro. I most certainly appreciated those shit. Yeah! Well, <clears throat> it's already the next day. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I went inside and I slept all day and caught up on The Walking Dead everything, in which I am extremely upset. I am out of episodes on Daryl Dixon, Fear the Walking Dead, if you guys keep up on The Walking Dead, you know the actual The Walking Dead show is over. Um, and then that other one, what, the, the other one that's got Maggie and the other dude that I can't even think of his freaking name right now. Anyhow, I'm out of episodes on all of them, so what the hell, man? 
the Walking Dead universe, you have like five different television shows and not a single one of them is releasing new episodes right now. Anyhow, dude, I feel like shit, bro. It's now Monday. I was supposed to get up this morning and go drop this off at the machine shop. I wanted to go to the junkyard. Well, I was gonna go to that far ass junkyard first. On the way back, drop this off at the machine shop and go buy my PO box because one of you guys have sent me a package. But yeah, that didn't happen, dude. It's already, it's already four o'clock. God dang. <laughs> oh, I do not feel good, bro. I am, I'm pretty certain it's just allergies. I don't know. I have no idea. I feel like I'm at the worst of it though. Well, I think yesterday into today was the worst of it. So tomorrow and the next day, I should slowly start feeling better. I don't get sick very often. Um, I'm, I don't know, I've always had a pretty strong immune system. And I, don't, I don't get sick very often. And having allergies is a completely new thing to me. I never used to have allergies. Now all of a sudden I do. Uh, anyhow, yeah, my, I'm gonna try to get this dropped off tomorrow morning now, Tuesday morning now. I feel freak, I can't stand not getting stuff done, dude. And I'm one of those people that if I don't get up and do something whenever I don't feel good, like this, I will, I'll end up sleeping for like four days straight, dude. <laughs> to be straight up with you. And I can't do that. I need to get up and get something done. That's what actually makes me feel better, start to feel better, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> so I want to be honest with you guys, please excuse the fact that I'm probably just going to try to do easy stuff today, maybe even tomorrow. I had like no videos up last week, so I can't afford to not put videos up this week. Ugh. Poor Pops is covered in bird shit once again. This drives me nuts, dude. Oh my god. So I'm going to get khaki out and start spraying khaki off and I want to blast all that bird shit off my freaking bike. I just, I got to keep myself active, dude. Or else I'll just shrivel up in a ball and freaking... <laughs> I'll shrivel up in a ball and die in my room, bro, for like four days. I need to play musical cars. I'm going to put the CRV on the side of the house because I want to move the blazer out of the driveway. I don't like the blazer on the side of the house, so I'm going to put the blazer right there where the CRV is at. So then I'll have room to get khaki out into the driveway so we can clean it. I'm gonna take a really quick second and blast off my driveway before I move khaki out because uh, it's not very often that my driveway is empty and I I just, I wanna take the opportunity to kind of blast it off, try to get some of the dirt and oil and stuff up. <sighs> One of these days, Braven will come out here and do my driveway for me. Uh, I just remembered that I robbed the spacer off the back of khaki for the blazer with those other wheels and I never put it back on so right now the wheels on the back of khaki are sitting against the calipers um, and I also robbed the lug nuts from khaki to put on the EP3 because these stock lug nuts wouldn't work when I had the skinnies on the EP3. That's Long story short, I got a bunch of freaking I gotta pull the wheels off and put the spacers on and find and switch lug nuts with other cars and oh my god bro. Oh my god. Do I even have a key for khaki anymore? <laughs> I gotta find the key. I haven't seen the key in a year. Well I have looked absolutely everywhere for this damn key to khaki, bro. Um, I am pretty certain I left the key inside of the ignition because I mean it's sitting in my front yard with no engine in it You know what I'm saying? 
Um, I'm pretty sure I left the key in the ignition so I didn't lose it. Um, I have searched where we hang all of our keys at. I have looked in all the toolboxes in all of my sock drawers. I've, I've looked absolutely everywhere. The junk drawers inside of the freaking kitchen, um, inside of the bar. I've, dude, I've looked everywhere, absolutely everywhere. I have been searching for like an hour and a half now and I can't find it. So we're just gonna have to get the damn car out of there the best we can without being able to unlock the steering wheel. Um, yeah, I'll just get it up here in a position. The only thing that sucks is it's gonna be really hard to move it out of my way if I need to work on anything else. But what can I do, man? I'm sure the key will turn up somewhere eventually. I was telling Braven I think some clown stole the damn key. He's not, but that's me, bro. Every time I'm missing something, I am immediately like, somebody stole it. Somebody stole it for sure. And then I end up finding it. I'm like, well, I guess somebody didn't steal it. <laughs> All right, I am making myself a goal. The goal before I take my ass inside and just go straight to sleep is I want to get this thing cleaned up. I, I want to get the <coughs> I want to get the seats out for one because it is filthy inside, bro. The inside is the worst. I mean, the outside obviously we have sprayed it off a few times, but the inside is just completely caked up, bro. So the goal is i want to get the seats out and get the inside cleaned obviously we're going to spray off the outside um but another thing that i really want to do is get my engine harness off so my engine harness is just kind of tucked up there around my catch can because a portion of the engine harness goes through the firewall and it's plugged in inside so i need to get that unplugged get the engine harness off um and up there on my shelf and i like to I like to just get all the dirt blown off of this in the engine bay the inside of the car the outside of the car The whole damn thing just get it cleaned up so it's ready um, and Yeah, I need to do something about these seats in which I'll talk to you about it whenever we get them out after we get some progress made <laughs>
I realized the reason why I never took my engine harness out because we have all of the nitrous stuff hooked into my engine harness because my uh, my nitrous and everything was all ran off of the ECU. So if you guys don't remember, uh, Khaki has a dry nitrous kit on it. Um, it doesn't have a fuel solenoid. It just has a nitrous solenoid. Um, so whenever I spray nitrous, it tells the ECU, the ECU compensates for more fuel rather than having a, um, rather than having a nitrate or a, God, I can't even think right now. Rather than having a fuel solenoid, uh, I just have really big injectors. I had thousand cc injectors on this. So my fuel system on the car ran through the Honda data was able to supply the extra fuel that it needed whenever I was spraying nitrous. And I've never, I've never sprayed anything over a hundred shot on this anyhow. So um, that's the way that we have always ran it. That is the way that I'm going to continue to run it. Um, all of that wiring is tying into uh, my engine harness, which ran to the ECU. And I don't necessarily have that to where it's like able to be unplugged. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that for now. Uh, what I need to do is actually pull the dash off and go over all the wiring so I'm capable of marking things and making sure that I'm able to put it back where it came from. Because going off the top of my head or memory right now, I have no idea whatsoever where those damn wires go, bro. Um, that was a combination of me, uh, my cousin, whenever I used to talk to him, my cousin was helping with this, Curly, like all of us trying to figure out and get this nitrous um, set up running and working through the Honda data. So yeah, I just, I don't wanna undo all that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this thing out. Uh, the way it is, I have my harness up out of the way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, really, I'm not that worried about it. Yes, my nitrous bottle is still in here and I know, people will probably comment about that but believe me it is 100% empty um anyhow I'm just gonna go ahead and blast all this dirt out and get as clean in here as I can I'm not gonna do it tonight but the plan is to go ahead and pull the center console and the dash and everything off go through the wiring get it all figured out I, I want to I want to do this better than it has ever been done though at the same time I don't want to turn it into a huge project that's going to take you know months and months to get it done i want to get khaki up and running asap but yeah i would like to just kind of go through the wiring and stuff and double check everything make sure it's all good clean stuff up where we can though i'm sure i've actually done that two or three times now already <laughs>
All right, well, that's pretty much it for me for today, man. I need to get inside and get some rest. Well, after I edit, which is probably going to be the hardest part, uh, sitting at a damn computer screen for the next three hours. But anyhow, I got the car all cleaned up. Yeah, it's a lot nicer being, uh, it's a lot cleaner. Well, of course, it's a lot cleaner. What was the words I'm looking for? It's a lot more motivating whenever the thing's all cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't just look like a pile of shit sitting out here with a bunch of dirt all over it. Uh, this car always does clean up really well. It doesn't matter how long this thing sits out here in this Arizona sun. Um, it hasn't been in the shade or anything, bro. Uh, this paint has zero, zero signs of fading whatsoever. Uh, I mean, like my... These things have kind of gotten a little sun beaten. You know what I'm saying? The car could use a coat of wax, but for the most part, uh, like the mirrors can probably be wet sanded and re-cleared. Uh, I think I clear coated these with a rattle can a long time ago. Need to do a new windshield banner for sure. But the majority of the car holds up really well in the sun. And uh, yeah, I don't ever have to worry about it. Is that a freaking crack? No, it's not a crack. What the hell is that? Anyhow, got the engine bay sprayed out as well. I did not get the engine harness off like I mentioned. There's just a bunch of nitrous wiring that's like all like intertwined in with it. And I just don't have the mental capacity right now to tear into that shit. So I would rather just leave it untouched for the time being. So whenever I can come back to it and I got a little bit more energy you know what i'm saying i can actually make a uh i can actually mark things and and remember where it is they came from before i go disconnecting stuff but anyhow <coughs> the seats the seats have uh really gone to shit i mean don't get me wrong they're still in really great shape the seat like the the base of them itself these are carbon fiber momo bucket seats uh i love these seats bro it's just to be honest with you guys they smell like cat piss. <laughs> the last time I cleaned this car up, it smelled like a cat got in there and pissed in the driver's seat. And that's the reason why there's no cover on the driver's seat. I took it off and I washed it. So all of this got washed. It's just, it, it didn't hold up very well, bro. This fabric has seen better days um, and it, it didn't do very well in the washing machine. Um, some of this foam is all messed up. I don't know, dude. If you guys are capable of finding for me a, uh, cause I've tried looking it up. I can't find anything, bro. It's so hard. I mean, this is the tag that's on here. Of course they're expired. I've had these things for freaking years, but, um, if anybody knows where I can get replacement, uh, of the fabric that goes over the, the carbon fiber seat, that'd be dope. Uh, to replace it with new ones um it's either that or i could try to clean these up and get them back on here the best i can or maybe maybe go to like an upholstery shop and have them make some but i just i i don't know how much that's gonna cost bro i ain't looking to invest 500 bucks into this damn shit so it's either all those things or just like get new seats uh, new seats is probably gonna be the most expensive portion. I don't know. I could probably reach out to some companies and see if anybody's down to work together and maybe do a partial spon sponsorship for Khaki and said new seats. <coughs> I don't know. These things are really dope, bro. But they're not cheap. They're not cheap to replace. You know what I'm saying? With another one piece carbon fiber bucket. So I really like them because they are super freaking light super light it's not the most comfortable seat to like get in and out of the car or if you have to work inside of the car for any reason like on the dash um, but whenever the car whenever you're just getting in there you're sitting and you're strapped in they're they're very confidence inspiring because you don't move at all bro you feel like you're in a cockpit you know what i'm saying but um anyhow i these seats have been with khaki since you know since day one i've had these seats in there so i really don't don't want to get rid of them i'd like to just clean them up and refurbish the fabric and do new fabric or something but anyhow dude i'm just i i don't have the energy to do anything else so i'm just gonna keep talking and ranting on bro uh i'm gonna get up in the morning i'm gonna try to get up in the morning once again go get our head dropped off at the machine shop 
I do want to go to that junkyard that does have a blazer out there because we need to get a glove box door. I also want to check and see if it has um, a decent set of seats. And yeah, there, there's a couple of other things that Brave and I want to look around the junkyard for. So it just all depends on whether or not I get up early enough, man. So yeah, I need to go drop this off, go to the junkyard, and I need to hit the P.O. box because uh, one of you guys sent the package that should be there by now. So I need to stop by there. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do smash the like button. Sorry I'm not feeling well. I know, I know you guys don't mind. I'm sure you understand. Uh, just trying to push through, bro. I got to keep myself busy or else, like I said, I'll just go curl up in a ball and die in my room for like four freaking days. Peace. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Didn't even blast all the bird shit off of Pops, man. Damn it. <sighs> Maybe tomorrow also.